Hey everybody, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 2019. I'm Morgan from the Treehouse, here with Sam from the Treehouse, hey. Ethan from the Treehouse, who will be translating for our very special guest, Mr. Tezuka, producer <laughs> of Super Mario Maker 2. Thank you for being here. I'm sorry we didn't have a warp pipe for you to come down. I know that's your preferred method of <laughs> entering our events now, but we'll work on that for next year. <laughs> <laughs> that's too bad, but no, maybe next time. <laughs> so, Sam, I'm going to turn it over to you to get this segment started. Yeah, so we've got a lot of great stuff to show folks today. Actually, here, just hanging out in the title screen, we can see so many new elements. We've got the Super Mario 3D World game style. We've got the Koopa Troopa car down there. Uh, Tezuka san, I know the dev team has worked so hard to put so many new things into the game, um, but they're actually not quite done yet. They're still doing a, a little bit of work, aren't they? Do you have any updates you can share with us? まあ、あの、開発チームが今まで新しい要素をいっぱいあの、入れてるんですけれども、その仕事がまだ続いていて、でもあの、新しいアップデートが何かあの、あの、シェアしていただけますでしょうか。あ、あの、まだまだ今現
It's interesting with the click conditions, making things that are more like puzzles. In, in this course, for example, there's a lot I have to do because jumping, not being in my arsenal, I have to find other ways to get around. ジャンプできないから、他のあの進め方を見つけないといけないですね。うん、ただジャンプできないだけじゃなくて、うん、床からえっ、ー、と足が浮いたらダメっていう、うん、ジャンプより難しい条件ですねこれ。And that's really like you said earlier, even more difficult than not being able to jump.、Nice. You can't even leave the ground. So that, that makes things really difficult. And it's very creative the ways that there, there are different lifting mechanisms. I've seen Monty Moles here, we've seen some trampolines, so other things that will get me up to a platform as long as it's not that I have initiated the action and I don't like hop off too early, I'll be okay. But it's like I almost don't want to have my, my right hand on the buttons because I don't want to risk it. Mm. The development team has so many interesting ways of how they use these parts.、Uh, oh. If you look at the make, you can use the idea of 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 the Yeah, and we, we had、Careful. some、um, short sample courses in the first game,、um, but we wanted to include longer, more you know, fleshed out courses this time around to really give people the ideas they would need to make interesting courses in the making part of the game.、Uh, I'm trying to collect <laughs> as many coins as I can. Yeah, there we go.、Nice. Since a big part of the story mode is something has happened to Princess Peach's castle, we need、mm. to help rebuild it. The toads spent all their money, so we're helping them earn coins. It's really important for me to get as many of these as I can. Peach Himeno Castle got Nanika, and Torabur got Taso de Snode, Okaneo, and Coin, or Atmete, and Soreo Shuri Shioto, and all you Katsudo Gamin, this ne. So、um, I'm going to hop into another bit of save data in a second, so we can show something a little bit later on in story mode. But one other thing I wanted to show off that's really cool, I think, especially for folks who are coming to this game who maybe haven't played a Mario game in all these different game styles, is this little spot, Yamamura's Dojo.、Mm -hmm. So, Yamamura, folks who played the original Super Mario Maker might know he is our course making master pigeon. Some folks might not realize Yamamura himself is actually not a pigeon, he is a veteran course designer、mm -hmm. over at Nintendo.、Uh, but overall, here we've got a really interesting mix of new.、Uh, Educational tools. Over here in Mario's move, for each of the game styles, I will see all my moves. So if I'm not sure, okay, how do I use Cat Mario? And there's some advanced jumps that you、check. might there's some advanced jumps you might not even realize in some of these styles. So I think this is actually going to be a really cool thing for veteran and new players to review. Yeah, and in story mode,、uh, I will get a separate pause menu option where I can see exactly what the controls are for the game style I'm playing. So if I haven't seen it before, if I'm somebody who's newer to Mario, maybe a younger player, it's a great place to get familiar. But also, we have these maker lessons. And Tezuka san, I wonder if you can tell us a bit more about this new way of educating the player. It's a little different from the tutorials in the original game. Well, I know, Konkai wa. 山村道場に入ってきたんですけれども、まあ、これはあの結構たくさんのレッスンがありますがこれもあのあスーパーマリオメーカー1の時のチュ,、うん、チュートリアルとちょっと違いますのであのそれについて話していただけますでしょうか、うん、あのまず山村道場ってネーミングいいですね、うん、あのツーリーハウスの方が考えてくれたんですけど、うん、So,、um, personally, I'm a fan of the Yamamura Dojo name. This is actually something that folks in the tree house came up with, and I really like it. あの日本人だとあまり道場って自らかんあの思いつかなかったと思います。うん、so, as a Japanese person with Dojo being a Japanese word, we probably wouldn't think to call it that, but yeah, I really like it. でも実際にはこう道場っていう,こう場所を鍛錬するとかレッスンするとかそういうものではないんです。うん、so、um, a dojo is a place where you would actually do some serious training and studying and practice, but、うん、these lessons aren't quite that, that severe. で作るヒントができあのたくさんここに詰まっている。うん、で、うん、どうぞ。割と任天堂のえっとレベルデザインのノウハウが実はこの中にギュッとこう詰め込まれている感じです。うん 
So there's all sorts of little hints and tricks about how to make levels in here, and I think a lot of Nintendo's know-how that we've you know, accumulated over the years is really packed into all of these little lessons, and it's there for you to find. そういうふうに思ってくれる人はどれくらいかわからないですけども、うん、これで刺激を受けて、うん、あの面白いコースを作ることにチャレンジする人が増えたらいいなと思います。うん、and so you know I'm not sure how many people will make full use of the the lessons here, but it's my hope that people really do and and get inspiration、uh, in making their own courses、uh, from what we've got inside the Yamamura Dojo. And that the writing honestly is just really fun and entertaining in them as well.、うん um, so what I'm going to do now is actually hop us into a different save file. So in this save file. We're a little further along, so we're not going to show you how the castle has shaped up. We're not going to show you the course list anymore, but we are going to show you a few different courses. And again, they're over 100, so this is a tiny slice. And、uh, some of the other things that folks can expect in the story mode.、Mm. So I'm in the first course, and this one is. A lot of fun. Yeah, right away. So we've seen that 3D world style,、uh, Mr. Tezuka. I was wondering if you could talk to us about.、Uh, you know, this is a brand new game style for Super、mm. Mario Maker 2, the 3D world style. I wonder if you could talk to us th though about adapting,、uh, you know, adding that to the game, adapting that game style to Super Mario Maker.、Uh, love to hear some of your thoughts on that. Hmm. <laughs> もともと 3D だったゲームをあの 2D の形式にあのアダプトすることについてあの喋っていただけますでしょうか、はい、あの新しいマリオメーカーを作るにあたってどんな新しいスキンを入れようかってすごい迷ったんですけども。うん So we knew we wanted to bring in some sort of a, a new game,、uh, game style for Super Mario Maker 2. And、uh, this, is the, <laughs> this is the game that we ended up deciding on. The 3D で作られた世界をこの 2D の、えー、と遊びにこう込み込むっていうのは、mm. すごくチャレンジングでした。Mm. And it actually was pretty challenging to take a game that was originally in 3D and bring it into a 2D format like this. 仕様の面からも、うんえっと、グラフィックスの面からも、えっと、いろんなことにおいて、えー、新しすぎるというか、まあうん、あの我々にとっては新しいことだらけでした。うん So,、um, you know, there's all sorts of different features that this game has.、Uh, the graphics are, are different as well.、Um, and so, this was kind of a new challenge for us and、uh, represented you know, one of the, the larger things that we had to challenge when, when making this game. So, sometimes our titles you know, are ported from one system to the other, and in, at, at times like that, you're able to bring. Bring the game、uh, as it was、uh, on one system over to the other, but we're bringing the game, like you said, from 3D into a 2D format here, and、uh, that was a, a big challenge for us. So, you are a little bit of a challenge, and I think we were successful in bringing the game to the other side of the world. But、um, I think we were successful in, in bringing、uh, you know, Super Mario 3D World into the game, and、uh, I think people will be able to kind of get a different sort of flavor of play、uh, from that, that game style. Yeah, it's really fun. I think it's, it's not just has that new moveset, the new art style,、uh, the new. Mechanics, but also you saw, even though it's a 2D version of 3D, where、well, you've got those bonsai bills flying into the screen,、mm. you've got this sort of depth、mm. happening. It really, it really feels great. まああのグラフィックスも新しくなってるし、あの遊び新しい遊びもありますけど、あの奥行き感もあるんです。例えばあのキラーが裏からあの表に出て、それもあの新しいですね。そうですね。で。あのエディットするときはちょっと、えー、斜め上から見た絵でエディットして、うん、遊ぶときはそれがまたカメラが変わって真横の絵になるっていうちょっとあの面白い。And when you're making courses in, in、uh, the, that game style,、um, you'll actually get a bit of a, a diagonal view while making courses, and then it goes back to a flat 2D style when you're playing. And so this course has a couple of my favorite things a night theme. Which really mixes up how you think about the course.、Mm. Can you tell us a little bit more about the development of these? Because it's so interesting how they change up the game plan in some pretty significant ways. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm not sure あのただ夜の環境っていうか、うん、その絵が変わるだけだったらこのゲームらしくない、うん、そうですねだからその
シーンごとで、えっと、どんなことが起きるかっていうのは、うん、あのいっぱい詰め込んでいます。うん、so yeah, it wouldn't be、uh, very much like Super Mario Maker if we just added you know night and that was it. So you're going to have to try、uh, adding the night setting to different courses in different types of game styles and see what the effect is.、Uh, you know, you can see one here, but there's a variety of them. The first time I saw this, it broke my brain. This is the first time I saw this, it broke my brain. This is the first time I saw this, it broke my brain. This is the first time I saw this, it broke my brain. This is the first time I saw this. えー、変な体験、うん、このゲームに合ってるかなと思います。うん、so yeah, you might feel, you know,、uh, these types of, of levels may feel, make you feel a little bit strange, but that's okay too.、うん、On the fact that in the, oh, go, go ahead. だからまあ、うん、あのいろんなシーンを変えてみてどんなことが起こるかっていうのは、うん、自分の目で確かめてみてほしいと思います。Yeah. And I really hope that people will enjoy、uh, adding this setting to their own stages in different、uh, game styles and, and see what the effect is with their own eyes. I think that's what's so exciting is I love to make courses, and the fact that the night、uh, theme it, it changes the game, not just how the way it looks, but it changes the gameplay.、Mm-hmm. And you could have a sub, your sub area with that night. A player is going to go down a pipe, and they might not know what's going to happen. Is it going to be upside down gravity? Is it going to be something else? So it really, I think, is it, it inspires you as a creator to find new ways to surprise the, your, the person playing your, your level. Morgan さんがあの本当にあのコース作りが好きで、で、あのよりについて本当に好きだ。うん好きなのはあの、まあ、あの見た目だけじゃなくてあの、まあ、ゲームプレイも違ってきますので例えばあの作っているコースの中で土管を入れてサーブエリアを作ったら、うん、そのプレイヤーがその土管に入ったら何が起こるかがまさにわからないから、うんそ,うね、そういうことを、うん、作れて、うん、あのモーガンが嬉しいです本当にねノリのいいスタッフで、うん、あのいろんなことを試したくなるというかね、うん、あの作りながらいろんなことを試してたって感じがします。ねうん、so,、um, our staff, you know, this was one thing that they were able to try out, you know, all sorts of ideas that they, that they had, and,、uh, you know, they, it just inspired them as well. Like, oh, what else could we add to this? The director's staff is not just the design, but the design, the sound, 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 the sound. And it's not just the person who, you know, was kind of guiding development of the game,、uh, but we had our designers all throw ideas, you know, up on the board、uh, as to what things might occur when you added the night effect to the game. Oh my gosh,、stages. I would have loved to have been in that brainstorm section. I'm sure that was a fun day at the office. <laughs> Okay, so the next course I'm hopping into, I really love because it gives us a really fun look at some things you can do with clear pipes.、Mm. And they are an incredibly fun new course part in the Super Mario 3D World style. And you guys also saw there's a clear condition for this course. You can see that she needs to collect 100 coins, and there's a little counter up in the upper left counting how many Sam has collected.、Mm. あの100枚取るとか敵を、ねえっと、何匹やっつけるとか、うん、本当に自由にあのいろんなことができるようになっているのがすごいと思います。Mm-hmm. Yeah, with clear It's helpful as you're creating a course, the clear conditions reflect what you've already placed in a course, so you don't have to necessarily plan ahead for it. You could just make a course that feels really good to you, and then when you're done, take a look and see okay, which clear conditions are supported by what I made. Yeah, that, that's actually what I'm hoping people will do is finish their course and then decide, you know, okay, maybe I'll put a clear condition on this and, and what one would be good. So you can, you can make a course and have people play it and then have them help you decide what sort of clear condition would work well for this course, or you can do that on your own and、uh, make that decision all by yourself. So this guy kind of looks like trouble, but I think I can use these clear、yeah. pipes. Nice. Pathing fireballs through clear pipes is so satisfying. あのすごく良かったと思います。Mm. So、um, I'm really happy we were able to include these clear pipes from Super Mario 3D World. 
Oh, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> they can't escape. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, don't chase me, don't chase me. <laughs> oh, stay away. And these guys can use the clear pipes too, so I gotta be careful not to just have it chase me through. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you just go hang out down there. Mr. Tessica, I'm tempted to ask you how fireballs work underwater, but maybe that's maybe that's a company secret. So, あのまあどうやってあの水中の中でファイアボールが燃えているかについて聞きたいんだけど、それは秘密かもしれないので、まあそれは言わないでください。So yeah, please don't ask me. でもね普通のあの我々の作り方だったらあの水中でキラーとかまああの。こういうことはできるだけやめようとかいうようなことも自由にこんあの自分で作るときはできるのであの楽しんでもらえるんじゃないかなと思いますね。But that actually brings up a good point. Whereas in in a game where we might not include things like bullet bills or fireballs in an underwater course, in a game like this, if you want to do that, you can do it. And、yeah. you know that's the kind of game we wanted to make. Yeah, it really is like the ultimate Mario playground toolbox.、Mm. I know we've been having a blast with the office and.、Uh, Building the invitational courses as well, watching you guys have fun iterating on that and trying out new things. I still learn things. I, I think I know everything, and then I like trigger a certain thing, and I realize an icicle can trigger an on-off switch, and I'm like, I did not know that. Okay, so this is a really tricky course. We're seeing another. Largely because of the desert wind here、Ooh. at night. So let me see if I can get this. Yeah. So this is、first. the if you have desert and then turn on night, you're going to get this intermittent wind, which、uh, completely changes the feeling that. Sam is having as she's playing. Yeah, so here I, I've got a quiet space I can just hang out. So I'm just going to stand here. I'm not touching anything on my controller. Mario's good, but then as soon as the wind picks up, I'm sliding. I'm not doing anything. It makes platforming challenges so much trickier, and it's、mm. so interesting when you're dealing with boss fights, trying to make sure, okay, I need to time this also to the wind. Sometimes it's actually going to give you an extra boost to get somewhere. Other times,、mm. it's going to push you right where you don't want to be. The wind will be set up to set the wind. So this is it. And here it's going to make things a little careful if I don't time this right. I'm not going to say that I'm 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 going to say that What's lying in wait、coins. for you in the nighttime courses? Because、uh, you know people might、uh, might get bored, <laughs> but yeah, there's there's a lot. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> And、uh, folks who are watching at home might notice there's a new little icon at the lower left of my screen that you haven't seen before.、Uh, that's something special that we actually wanted to introduce during the segment as well and talk about a little bit. So we triggered that earlier so we could show it off. I'm just going to make sure I'm somewhere safe. Okay, this is a bad spot. So here, for example, if I was having a really hard time with a course and the game noticed, hey, you're, you're maybe having a rough time, my brother turns up and gives me access to a little collection of course parts. So Luigi's going to say, hey, you、mm. seem like you're having a hard time, bro. Let's see if this can help you out. And here we have a small assortment of course parts. What's cool is I can actually use these to modify the course I'm playing. So it might be I'm having a hard time with a jump. Maybe I'm going to use some blocks to make a platform for myself, or Uh, I'm just gonna go all out and toss this guy in there.、Um, but can we talk a little bit about this help feature in Luigi and how this is gonna be interesting to folks who are playing the game? Hi, I know, Mark. あここが難しい進めないと感じたら、あのルイージのアシストをあのまあ設定することもできて、限られたパーツーもあ,あの与えてくれますので、それを使ってあのまあ進めるようにあの自分でコースを調整することができますよね。それについてあのまああの喋っていただきますか。そうですね。あのこのモード自体あの自分が遊んでみてもすごく楽しかったんですね。うん、だからこればっかりずっと遊び続けてしまうんじゃないかなっていう心配しました。え、すいません。もう一度お願いします。はい、この。のあのモードだけでもずっとあの楽しめてしまうので、作ることよりももうずっとこれ遊んでしまうんじゃないか、ずっと遊び続けてしまうんじゃないかと心配しました。So I was worried that you know some people might get so hooked on this mode that they would just continue playing it and just go right through it。で、あのこのゲームの場合お助けっていうか、あのあまりアクションゲームが上手じゃない人でもえクリアできるようにしたいなっていう考えも。But、um, I wanted to make sure that there was、uh, something for people who might have trouble with some of these stages,、uh, so that they would also be able to make it, make their way through it, and so include some way to help people that might not be as advanced、uh, as other players. これ作るゲームなので
その遊ぶ中にも作るっていうことを少し取り入れるっていうのが、バイト最後の方で思いついたアイデアです。Hmm. And so, you know, this is a game about making, so I thought it would be fun if there was a way to include a little bit of course making even when you're playing a course like this.、Um, so we included this、uh, Luigi Assist mode. だから、できるだけこう気軽にあの遊んでる中で作るっていうことを、えー、体験してほしい。Hmm. So、And yeah, I wanted people to just have a, you know, a lighthearted, casual way to be able to add some making elements. Uh, to courses while they were playing them. And so that means that you don't have to, you don't have to just persevere you know, stoically and make your way through the course without you know, making any changes. This gives you the ability, you know, if you want there to be a block here, you want to make a small change, you can go ahead and do that. Yeah, and this little music and animation you're seeing is something from like a Japanese festival that we thought would be fun to add. It's really cheerful. Yeah, that's one of the new sound effects. It's really cool.、Hmm. Okay. I think we've got time for one more so I can pull one more course up yes, here. Yes, one more. Yeah,、hey. hey, that one's hard. You want to stump me, put a desert wind in there, and、mm. suddenly I'm flying all over the place yeah, or I'm overcompensating because I think the wind's about to start and I'm like, oh no, I've got to jump the wrong way. But you know, if, if that's a you know, difficult course that you, you have made yourself, you'll be okay with something like that, you know, with it being that difficult. I do think that you know, you know, we made those courses, so we're okay with them being hard. There may be other people who are a little bit upset with us for making some difficult courses. <laughs> well, I think there's a really nice mix in there, which is good, and especially once we get into people sharing their own courses, it's going to be such a variety of additional courses for people to play. And if we're lucky, I'm going to try to pull this off in one shot. This is another clear condition. All I have to do is beat one enemy.、And、you think, okay, one enemy, that's no problem. Just beat a pom pom. But the problem is where I'm fighting the pom pom is a little complicated. So I've got these blinking blocks, and she wants to use them as well as me. So if I don't give her somewhere to stand, she's not going to end up somewhere I can fight her. I. No, 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 no. Come here, pom pom. Come on. And I like that the key. The key Yeah, that key warp block is、oh, right there. there so it's very clear. You cannot move on without. This is a really classic looking boss fight, too.、Really、Hopefully,、cool. I've redeemed myself.、Yeah. <laughs> At least I got the problem.、Really、<laughs> and here, so I've got the little flag above my head. I managed the clear condition. And it's almost like forgiveness, this little blinking box. Like, it's okay. <laughs> we'll just take you up to the top. <laughs>、oh, so. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to make sure while you're here that I play, okay.、Um, And I, I think that's about all the time we've got,、mm. but uh, uh, thank you so much for joining us. And、uh, as you said, the dev team is still、uh, working on things in the game, wrapping things up, and that、uh, new ability that's going to be coming、uh, with an update to be able to play with your friends online, I think, is something that、uh, hopefully folks will really enjoy when the game launches and then、mm. we get some of the update work done.、Mm. Well, あの先ほど言ったようにあの開発があの、まあ、今でも進んでいてでオンライン友達とあのマルチプレイができるようなアップデートが来ることがあの、まあ、皆さんが嬉しい嬉しく思,う思いますよね。このゲームのユニークなところはあの我々が、えー、ゲームあ遊びを作るための環境を一生懸命こう作,り作ったんですよ。うんそうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうん
なんかこう発売してからどんなふうに遊ばれるかという我々もすごくワクワクして。And so we're really looking forward to see what people are going to do with this game once it comes out. And that's something that we're super looking forward to. まだまだ我々開発はこれのために時間を費やしていくし。あの皆さんも遊んでくれて、いろんなフィードバックを返してくれると、うんえー、とみ,んなみんな一緒にこう遊んでる人と我々と一緒にこう盛り上げていけるんじゃないかなと思います。うん、so we're continuing our work with development and we're really looking forward to seeing what people say、uh, about the game and, and hearing their feedback and, and continuing to think about it as we go forward. Well, I know just anytime we've given our fans a chance to make their own creations, they never cease to amaze us with their creativity and their inventiveness. So, from our side, we've been having a wonderful time with this game in the office, but I can't wait to get out there and see what the world does with these tools and these parts and all the cool courses that they're going to create. あのようなコースを世界にシェアすることもあの我々も楽しみにしていますよね。Yeah, and we don't have to wait too much longer. <laughs> I know, June 28th. This game comes out in、uh, two weeks and change. So,、uh, yeah, I hope you guys are excited to get your hands on it.、Uh, we certainly are excited to show it off、mm -hmm. here, and、uh, I can't wait for it to come out myself to、uh, start making courses and making people play them.、Um, <laughs> Yeah, so from here, us at Treehouse Live, I want to say thank you, Sam, for、uh, all that nice gameplay. No problem.、Uh, Ethan, for <laughs> translating. And Mr. Tezuka, thank you so much for stopping by and、thank、sharing you. your thoughts and passion、uh, about Super Mario Maker 2 with us. So,、um, yeah, so we'll be right back with some more gameplay. We're actually going to pivot from here to Luigi's Mansion 3. So don't go anywhere, and thank you guys. <laughs> 